Hello boaters, welcome to Narrow Boat Journeys. Let's go for another walk. We're on the Macclesfield Canal and we're just approaching Bridge 85 at Acker's Crossing. And in this walk we're going to leave the canal and head towards a, a village called Mo Cop. Mo Cop stands on the, on the top of a very tall hill which is uh, 335 metres above sea level and it's, it's quite spectacular really because it's got like a folly castle on the top and that's where we will be heading. So before we go any farther let's have a look at the map. The walk begins at the walk start point at the top left of the map. We go through Acres Crossing, underneath the railway line, and then after that it's on through footpaths, steeply uphill through woods, all the way up to Mocop. This map makes it look deceptively flat. It's not. So this is where we leave the canal, that's Bridge 85, and we'll cross that bridge and head right. You're going to hear me huffing and puffing quite a lot in this video because it's very steep. The walk length is only about 1.7 miles but because it's most of it is uphill it feels like a lot longer and of course that doesn't cover the return journey either. That's the hill there in front of us. We'll be walking right up to the very top of that. This is Acker's Crossing. It's just a small place and I don't know if the name refers to the crossing of the canal or crossing of the railway line which is just up ahead. Or, of course, it could re refer to something entirely different. I don't know. There's rather a nice house for sale here. I don't know if I'd like it quite so close to the railway line though. Straight on ahead there is a crossing that used to go across the railway line, but now there's a little subway type thing that goes underneath it. Much better. And now we start heading uphill. Ferns. 
It's a very hot day. But it's nice and cool here under these trees. farm down there. You can't see it from here but glorious views from here. The lane is private beyond this point. Straight on ahead is a lovely little house, but it's very isolated. But we turn right now and uh, go along the public footpath. Get my leg over there. How about that for a place to live? You would need a car though. It's very isolated. And uh, how about that for a view? Oh, they're coming to see me, are they? Go on. Very inquisitive. If I walk towards them, they'll run away. Getting very hot now. Lovely up here though. At least the walk home is all downhill. I've got that to look forward to. The next part of the walk is through woodland. Very lovely. Will be much cooler, but it's still very steep.
Oh, it's a bit muddy. Not too bad. Very quiet, no traffic, just the birds, the bees, and my gasping. Hey there. Hello. stone wall. Nearly at the end of the woods now. Just one last extra steep bit to do. Still not at the top though. A bit more to do yet. Look at that poor old tree. It tells me it must get pretty windy up here.
Test my knees out. Actually, it's not too bad. I wonder how old this path is. It looks ancient. Unfortunately, we seem to have lost the sunshine for a bit. It's still a very warm day, though. These are foxgloves. Before we get to the Mo Cop Castle Folly, we pass the Old Man of Mo, which is a very interesting rock formation, said to look like a man from certain angles. get a glimpse of where we're going. chose to do this on a Friday because weekends are likely to be quite busy up here I think Riding, no cycling, and no drones. Killjoys. Well, seems depositing a dog's mess is acceptable. And there is the Mocop Castle Folly, built in 1754 by the Lord of the Manor and used as a summer house. It's a very impressive site and of course being on the top of the hill it can be seen from a, a wide variety of places. We're round about 335 metres above sea level now. It's just a hollow shell these days and you can't really go inside, but you can have a look and uh, I wonder what it looked like when it was uh, in its heyday. Uh, 
That is quite impressive. Steps are steep. It's very uneven. Hello. It's a killer, that one. It is. <laughs> 
And what a spectacular view you get from up here. Well, I think that'll do for today. Hope you've enjoyed this little walk. I was certainly tired when I got home. But anyway, thank you for watching. I'll see you next time.